see? So if CC and those guys don't have any other thing before the court, well, you know me, I was the man they targeted. So I have the sexual, the, the chunked up sexual um, assault charges. The matters came up on the 28th before the magistrate. And the magistrate indicated that in the interest of justice, she has, she is sending back the matter to the chief magistrate to be um, reassigned to another magistrate. I don't know all the reasoning behind that, but the magistrate did make the remark. This is the magistrate who tried the um, conspiracy to commit fraud case. Um, the same investigators, uh, the, uh, some of the same weaknesses. I don't know if it's that would have prompted her, but she indicated that she's sending the matter back to the chief magistrate and the chief magistrate will um, assign or appoint another magistrate to conduct the trial. And that now um, comes up before the chief magistrate on the 15th of um, January. So 15th of January, the magistrate is going to um, reassign that to another magistrate for the trial. But as I've said before, I am anxiously looking forward. I don't want no damn lad where they're going to discontinue or not even in that case, case, he wasn't even charged. I don't want no um, President Ali to discontinue the 19, uh, they discontinue 19 fraud charges against him. I don't want a Nandalal that where his matter will discontinue. I don't want Ashley Singh. I want to go before the court and um, defend myself. Let me present the evidence and defend myself. That is what I want. Now, another matter that I need to bring you up to date with are two other matters. You know, I was sued by Assistant Commissioner um, Karambash. Now, that matter continues on the 19th of this month. He um, gave evidence, or he was cross-examined um, in the court. And on the 19th, it will be my time to be cross-examined. CC is also a witness uh, in that matter. And again, I'd say I am confident because um, you can claim that you're defamed when somebody tells the truth about you. And the other matter, this is the matter where Brutus um, sued me for defamation of character. If you recall, that matter was dismissed by the judge. I learned later that the matter was, he appealed the matter. Now the matter was to be the, the, the full court. He appealed to the full court. The full court was to make a decision, I think around the 28th of November. And then we were advised that my, that the, full court will forward the written decision to the attorneys by the 1st of December, 2023. Well, the last communication I got from my attorney about two weeks ago that until that time, the full court had not sent um, whatever the ruling was. Again, I say I am confident. So whether the ruling is that to uphold, to uphold the decision of the judge to dismiss the case or whether the ruling is that the matter must go to trial, either way, I'm not worried I am not worried because, as I've said, facts are there. Facts are stubborn things. You can't change the facts. And somebody can't um, defame you if they tell the truth about you. So those are, uh, that's the update um, to those uh, matters. CC, do you want to say anything about those? No, but yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I, I know that, you know, justice will be done. And I've been following those those, those matters there and... Um, I, I don't know what, what, what will happen there, man. All right. And let me say this too. You know, as I, I, uh, I mentioned earlier, when charges are brought against some people, it is splashed all over the uh, mainstream media and also social media. And when these matters go before the court and they are thrown out, you don't hear a hmm from these people. And they had, they had a similar matter, similar matter last week, two hours. We were, our matter was decided on the 27th last Wednesday. The magistrate threw out it for lack of evidence. And on the 29th, two days after the charge of uh, against Marceline Washington, retired um, senior superintendent, woman senior superintendent, the char and she was charged, charged jointly with Lorraine Saul and Frank Jackman Wilberg will, will uh, conspiracy, some conspiracy, they said they falsify some accounts for feeding to say that meals were provided when meals were not provided. That matter too 
was dismissed on the 29th of December. You ain't see no way, no way in the media, you ain't seen it. They ain't um, announcing it. They're not announcing it. Um, and, and you know what happened? I, I made the point the other day, long ago, you had court reporters, people who will go to all the court and they will write on behalf of these newspapers and they will write about what transpired in the court. Apparently now they don't have court reporters. So unless the, the, the lawyer who represented um, the person or someone who was there, uh, sometimes in many cases the defendant uh, makes a release, they don't hear anything about what transpired in court. But let me hear, let anybody get a little um, adverse comment against them. You're going to see how quick certain sections of the media will post it. Yeah, so Washington, and I just, um, in two days, Washington had two victories, Saul and Blackman. Those matters against them um, were dismissed on the 29th. I don't know how many more matters. I suspect you have a lot of more trumped up matters um, pending before the court. And again, you, you do nothing, you fear nothing. You do nothing, fear nothing. The sad part is that in our case, we were charged on the 19th of May, and over two years, the running cost in you, as the CC indicated, cost him his job, it cost me my job, right? And that is what they, they, they aim to do. That is what they aim to do. People are asking here um, whether you could sue and all of that. That is going to be in the hands of our attorneys. The attorneys are going to decide on the way forward. But as I've repeatedly said, no done as you like. What's the right? No done as you like. CC, anything on that from you? I agree with you. No done as you like. And those trumped up charges, I said in the previous episode that Suku has never had a successful case. All the cases, apart from people being guilty, I that went to trial, finish at no case submission, no, they had one a correction. Nandalal, the magistrate had overruled no, no case submission, and he went to the court, appeal court, and the judge threw it out, and then the government changed, and the politically inclined DPP null pros. So Suku, so, so for me, is a political repressive arm of whichever government is in power. They had it in APNU, and now they had it in PPPC. Yes, and yes, and you know, you mentioned the DPP. Let me make this point here now that um, during the program on Wednesday afternoon, as I've said, we had um, Dr. Dexter Todd, who was one of the attorneys um, for the defense in that conspiracy to commit fraud case. And he made the point and he said something that I want to take up. He said that having looked at the file, and you know, the file contains all the statements and all of that. He said he, he, he find it difficult to believe that anyone with legal training would have recommended that charges be uh, instituted because there was absolutely no evidence. He said in many cases, some of the statements that were written, anyone with legal training would know that what is said in the statements amongst the ASA and cannot be given um, in a court of law. And the charge was instituted. And he's saying that he cannot imagine that anyone with legal training would have approved of those charges having perused the file. But let me say this to you and to all of those persons. People with legal training went through the file, including the DPP. The file was examined. And notwithstanding the fact that there was not an iota of evidence, that is what the magistrate said, not an iota of evidence to prove this conspiracy charge. It was approved. The DPP approved the charge to be instituted. And let me say this before I ask Mr. Conway to make his comment on this matter. As I said before, these cases are not about wanting to get a conviction. Because when you look at the file, you know that they don't have any evidence to convict. God, remember, I have said to you, and we like to teach, that in the courts of Guyana and other places as well, it's not what you know upon is what you can prove in a court of law beyond a reasonable doubt. And one would expect that the DPP's chamber would have seen that. But when you're politically inclined, you just decide, well, uh, institute the charge. The DPP has taken the position that um, we're going to charge unless you go to court and um, 
uh, get off if you want. And not only in this case, we have had over the years, recent years, and Mr. Todd uh, made reference to that. Even in the I code, people charge you more than other serious offenses. No case submission, the matter gone, which means that the prosecution never had any case in the first instance to, to, to put. But it goes through the system and people are put before the court. And I said this too, in, in um, with reference to what Mr. Tat said, the DPP has the authority, as we alluded to earlier, to null press a case at any time. So even if you want to suggest that this matter, the police in their um, has, um, exuberance might have rushed to institute a charge, and it was not so in the case um, you're referring to. But even if the police rush and institute a charge, the DPP at any time can call for the file, can review the file, and can instruct that the matter be discontinued at any time. She, the DPP can do that. But so what? The DPP don't want to do that, right? Go before the court, you a lot of money, you lose your job, you lose character. Character is not something you can easily um, regain. So they plaster your name that you're charged for this. They plaster your name that you're there before the court. In my case, they wanted to get a, a mock shot. So even though they summoned me to attend court on the 15th of October, 2021, when I turned up at the court compound to, uh, to answer to the charge, Ramana and Ransom Soku are there to arrest me for the same charge that they summoned me to attend court for. So you see what the motivation is. CC, let me have your take on this uh, issue that Mr. Todd said that you don't think anybody with legal uh, training would have gone through this, these files. Well, let, let me go into some details. The information I got is that on a Thursday, they filed a recommendation for us to get charged, although they had no evidence, went to the DPP. The DPP was information we got on leave. Senior persons at the DPP office reviewed that file and say, hey, they won't get nothing here for, for charge anybody. But let us wait. We're not going to handle it. Let us wait until the DPP returned from leave. The DPP returned from leave a couple of days afterwards. Look at it. And I think they wrote, wrote one word, approve. And approve the charges for us to, the, the, for us to be charged although there was not even a scintilla of evidence to really put us before the court. But getting back to Suku, Suku has been getting direct instructions. Instructions from the, their supreme legal advisor who operates in an office northeast of Suku headquarters They've been getting advice and directions from a house in Rob Street. They're getting advice from a, a building northwest of, of the north, sorry, northwest of the breakdown police, police station. And they have been carrying out those, those, those directions. No evidence whatsoever. And apart from that, they don't do any kind of investigation. In our matters, they, 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 they didn't investigate anything no investigation the judges rule say as soon as you have evidence which will reach me to call you to reasonably suspect that a person has committed a crime you have to caution that person i was not cautioned false law wasn't cautioned several of who were charged they were, they were, they were, they were not cautioned they breached the judge's rule, which was of a, a, a fatal um, action. And the thing is, put us before the court. If you don't do proper investigation, you can do proper prosecution. They get a prosecutor. They give him basket to fetch water to bait ducks that were already swimming in the pond. I remember Michael Olin used to use the term giggle garbage in garbage out it's about input activity and output and when you when you input trash when you in, in, in input garbage inside it don't mind what activity you create it's garbage going to come out suku don't do investigation they they they, they are arresting people because lars 
who, 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 who um, told the client to remain, the constitutional right to remain silent, arrested for a slow because he, he responded to a summons uh, to, 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 to ten court. Yeah? And, and then they, they don't know the caution. In, in our matter, a sergeant gave evidence, testify that after he told the person he was charged, he cautioned him and he read the caution before the charge, not the caution after charge. So to me, Suko should be disbanded. They just scrub it out and throw it, throw it over, 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 over the, the seawall because it is a political entity and, and, and the working in, instead of looking at the, the crime, they're looking at politics, politics playing thing. And for our motto, I, I like to use acronym. It's PPPC with the motto. It was police, it was politics, it was professionalism, and it was confusion. Let me repeat, PPPC. Police, politics, professionalism, and confusion. And I close my case here. Yeah, except that I would um, substitute the word professionalism with persecution. Yes. Persecution. And let me tell you this. You made a very valid point about the judge's rule, and you need to caution someone as soon as there's evidence to show that that person may have committed a crime. Now, more than that, in this case that we are referencing, that's a conspiracy to commit fraud case. Not only um, they did not caution me, no, if, no allegation was ever put to me. No one put any allegation to me to say, well, look, this is what is being alleged. And I know from experience and from training is that when several persons are alleged to have committed an offense, those who you may uh, would have arrested and you put the allegation to them, you might then you caution and you might uh, institute charge against them. If one or more persons in that group was not arrested and the caution wasn't put to them, the allegation wasn't put to them, you don't charge those persons. You wait until such time that the allegation is put to that person, whether it's a month, two months, a year. When, when the allegation is put to them and they are cautioned, then they are charged and sometimes they are joined um, with the, the others. But in, in my case, no. I They charged, they rushed the charge on the 19th of May, 2021. And we told you the reason why. They wanted to get us off the police service commission where no allegation was ever put to me. So perhaps it's one of a, a unique um, situation in in, the, in 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 Guyana. No allegation ever put, and the post about no offense at all, and the persons um, end up charged. And I can't comment on certain aspect of this same matter. I'm waiting for the um, the civil lawsuits to finish, and then I'm going to tell you more. So stay tuned. We are going to tell you more. CC, before we move off on this subject, anything else you, you want to say? On yeah, this part to, of the subject? Just to follow up to you, the, the allegations, it is it is in it is in the constitution. It's saying that the person must be told in simple language and in language that he understands and in detail what you are investigating. I repeat. In simple language, in language that we understand, and in detail what you are investigating. That is enshrining the constitution of the Cooperative Republic of Guyana. My brother, all you know, they're listening, you know, they're listening. Some of them listen, but they can't learn. But I know that many of the junior ranks and senior ranks who listen are learning a lot because they have expressed their um, satisfaction. Uh, um, to us on the things that we bring to attention 